White Cat by Holly Black. I gave this two stars. It's the first. Why? Why do people let children push prams? Like, you, my dog doesn't like you. Oh my god, they're all just walking. So slowly, you go on your Saturday stroll, guys. You go. You you tourists, just come and walk past my house while I'm trying to film a video. Make my dog go crazy. Hello, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today we're going to go through every book I've read in 2018 so far. So this will be the first of two videos on my mid-year recap. The second one will be a goals and stats revisit which will be coming sometime in the next week. But I'm just going to run through every single book I've read so far this year and I'm just going to say what it is, who it's from and the star rating because guys, I have read 46 books so far this year. Now to some people, a lot of people, that might not be a lot, but I read 56 books for the entirety of 2017 and that is the year that I read the most books ever as long as I have known how much that I've read. So yeah, I am 11 books away from meeting my Goodreads goal and it's a little bit scary because I always set my goal to one book more than I yet read the year before so I have no idea what 2019 is going to be like. 46 books. I have read a few books in July so far but I'm only going up to the end of June because that is the mid-year point and let's just get started. The first book I picked up was Finale by Becca Fitzpatrick. I gave this four stars. It is the last book in the Hush Hush series. My Second Life by Faye Bird. I gave this three stars. I was sent a copy of this for review. Another review copy, Starlings by Joe Walton. Also three stars. This collection of fantasy and sci-fi short stories. Divergent by Veronica Roth. I gave this four stars. It's the first book in the Divergent series. 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. I gave this two stars. Smoke Gets in Your Eyes by Caitlin Doty. I gave this five stars. It's a non-fiction by the YouTuber Ask a Mortician. Insurgent by Veronica Roth. I gave this one three stars. It's the second book in the Divergent series. White Cat by Holly Black. I gave this one two stars. This is the first book in the Curse Workers series by Holly Black. Allegiant by Veronica Roth. The last book in the Divergent series. I gave this one three stars. Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass, first book in the Throne of Glass series, I gave this one five stars. Archie Volume 1, the graphic novel, I gave this one five stars. Simon vs the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli, the first book in the Creekwood duology, four stars. This Modern Love by Will Derbyshire, I gave this five stars. The Roanoke Girls by Amy Engel, three stars. Marked by PC and Kristen Cast, three stars. Everless by Sarah Holland, four stars. Betrayed by PC and Kristen Cast, three stars. Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, five stars. Otherworld by Scott Westerfeld, three stars. The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli, five stars, although realistically I probably should have given it four. Saga Volume 1 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples, five stars. Love this so much. Assassin's Blade by Sarah J Mass, five stars. This is the prequel novella in the Throne of Glass series. Saga Volume 2 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples, five stars. Still love this. What is Not Yours is Not Yours by Helen Oyeyemi. This is a collection of magical realism short stories stories, two stars. Saga Volume 3 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples, five stars. Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard, four stars. Spoiler alert, my favourite book of the year so far, Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. All of the stars in the world, but seeing as the rating system doesn't go that high, five. Saga Volume 4 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples, five stars. Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman, three stars. The Woman in Cabin 10 by Ruth Ware, two stars. Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton, four stars. From Here to Eternity by Caitlin Doughty, five stars. This is another non-fiction by the YouTuber Axomortician. Crown of Midnight, Sarah J Mass, five stars. Saga Volume 5 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples, five stars. Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Mars, four stars. Mm, I just, mm, I gave it four stars. Maybe I shouldn't have done. The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, four stars. Saga Volume 6 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples, five stars again. The Astonishing Colour of After by Emily X. R. Pan, four stars. King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard, five stars. Saga Volume 7 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. Let me hear your guesses. You, you're right, it was five stars. Angus Songs and Full Frontal Snogging by Louise Renison, four stars. Saga Volume 8 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples, once again. Five stars. Lost Storm by Victoria Aveyard. Five stars. Love this so much. So epic. One of my most anticipated books of 2018 and so far the only one that hasn't let me down. Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. Three stars. November 9 by Colleen Hoover. Four stars. And last but not least, Shiver by Maggie Stevarta. 
three stars. So that is every book in 2018 that I've read up until the end of June. I hope you like this video. Please let me know how many books you have read so far and maybe let me know what your favourite and least favourite were. Now I'm gonna head back out and bake in the sun because that's where I've been all day and oh my god it's absolutely glorious. I love this heat wave apart from I think I'm shiny because I'm sweating. And also don't forget that I will be posting a follow-up to this video which will be my goals and stats revisit of the year so far so keep an eye out for that. Please also don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to. If you head into my description box below you'll find a link to my bookish body butter and candle website, the Instagram for that and also a 10% off discount code. You'll also find a link to my Twitter, Goodreads and Instagram if you wish to follow me on any of those. But that's it from me today. Bye!